Uh, some new developments in the grisly murder of three people inside an Adams County Hall. Police say Furman Lee Leba, still on the run for this crime. He's considered very dangerous. Uh, deputies say they have arrested the other suspect. His name is Gabriel Flores, and he was caught Wednesday night after a police chase through Jefferson County. Civil News reporter Tyler Lopez live outside the courthouse where Flores just faced a judge. So, Tyler, tell us what happened. It's a strange scene when Gabriel Flores entered the courtroom. He was mumbling under his breath and he speaks with a raspy but quiet voice. In fact, at one point, the judge had to ask him to speak up, but the hearing itself was brief. Flores was caught after a chase in Jefferson County Wednesday, the same day the bodies were found. A deputy using his vehicle to make sure that black Jeep Wrangler stopped and crashed there. Flores and another woman with him were taken into custody. I've just learned that woman will not be charged in the murders. Now today, an Adams County District Court judge told Gabriel Flores he faces three counts of first degree murder after three people described by friends as three adult men were found dead at 21 Cragmore Street also on Wednesday. Now Flores himself, take a look, has a long criminal history, two mugshots here, the older one on the left, this one on the right with what appear to be facial tattoos. Now he was already wanted on aggravated robbery charges at the time. Investigators haven't said yet if he knew the victims. He told the judge, though, that he has not been read his rights. That'll be of interest to his lawyer once he gets one. District Attorney Dave Young telling the judge today that Flores is going to need alternate counsel because his co-defendant will need the public defender once they catch that person. A warrant out for his arrest, in which we took that to be a reference to Furman Leba.